athletes. So I, I'm talking to everybody. Now, for a lot of you, you've seen the Simplified Nutrition, the Intermediate Nutrition Guide, the Advanced Nutrition. You've heard me talk about this. You've heard me talk about training. And I mean, there's hundreds of videos on YouTube right now, but you still should listen to this. It is the most basic way I can describe all of this. And remember, July, hopefully you're watching this video before you talk to your, your family members. In July, we're trying to help people, right? We're just trying to show them the first step. It's so easy here. Well, what we've done is we've put something called the new athlete booklet on our getcomplete.net. And please download this. You can print it off for your friend or show them, hey, all you do is sign up for five bucks and this guy gives you all this information. But I want to describe to you this booklet. So let's say you don't even have this booklet. Let's say you just go into your barbecue or whatever. I hope that some of what I say resides to you. So I'm going to be reading some of this to you just so that, again, you get the words in your head so that you can help these people. So what we've done with this booklet is we've turned it into an eight page as simple as we can possibly make it. I've seen some guides where they're 36 pages. On your first day, they hand you this booklet and it's like, holy cow, there's just tons and tons of information. You almost feel like you have to have a master's degree to understand it. But that's kind of what we're trying to change. So if you have your booklets, great. If not, you're just gonna have to hear me out. Our first few pages is the title page, the table of contents and our disclaimer. So those three pages to me just don't count towards these eight. The first one, all it is, is them trying to figure out what do I want to do? Let's say I want to lose a pound a week. We have a chart in here that says that means you're probably going to have to adjust your calories a little bit. Okay. We don't go into a huge discussion about calories or anything like that. It's just what you're eating now we want to establish, which later on there's a guide for them to establish and kind of write some things down. But if this is what you're eating, we just want to eat a little less than that. I'm not saying stop eating Oreo, stop eating potato chips, stop eating your junk food. That's not what this booklet's about. This booklet's about just trying to give them just a little bit of basic information. So it gives just a fact right away that all it takes is you eating just a little too much every day. And by a little, I'm talking 200 calories, okay? That's a Snickers bar, a small Snickers bar. If you overeat by that much every single day, you're gonna be putting on a pound or more a year. And then let's say it's 10, 10 years that go by, there's your 10 pounds. It comes on so slowly because people just mindlessly eat, okay? What we're just trying to do with this booklet is get them to think about their food just a little bit. They don't need to obsess about it. They don't need to look at nutrition labels, nothing. They're not trying to figure out how many grams of carbs or anything like that. We just want to establish some basic eating habits. So it talks about how to set a goal and then gives them a whole page. What's your body fat? If they can do it, if not, what's your weight? What are your fitness goals? What are your aesthetic goals? What are your nutritional goals? That's one of the whole pages. It's just a chart. Walk them through. A lot of you have sent me your goals back in April and I sent back to you ways to think about it more deeply. See if you can do that for them. If not, have them email us, okay? Info at getcomplete.net, email us. I don't mind. I will gladly help them figure out their goals because that's what we're here for is to help people. Then it goes a little bit more into what we mean by eat less. Very simple things from you can do things like you can track your calories, okay, but you don't have to. What can make it a lot easier is just track your portions, okay? So I'm not saying you need to know if it's three ounces or 10 ounces or 15 or it's a gram this way, that way, I don't care. What we want is that your portions are based on your hands, okay? So if you have a piece of fruit, you take that piece of fruit, Square it up to your hand. If it's bigger than your hand, it's more than a portion. If it's smaller than your hand, it's, it's less than one portion. Same goes for just rice and grains and let's say pasta too. If you take your hand and put make a fist, well, I've got about two portions of pasta, rice, whatever. Close enough, okay? Because again, we don't want to scare them. We don't want them to be so specific because nobody really wants to be that way, at least when they're starting. Once they see a few results, hey, now let's hone it in. But for right now, we're talking with our hands. So we've got grains, we've got fruits. 
Now, the palm of your hand, that's how we're going to do proteins, okay? So if you have a big hand, I guess your por protein portions are going to be a little bigger. If you have a small hand, they're going to be smaller. But same deal. You look at that, let's say the chicken breast is laying on your plate. You open up your hand and you say, yeah, that's about the same size. There you go. That's a portion of protein. If you're cooking with oils and you're pouring into the skillet, hey, the tip of your thumb, again, if you have a bigger thumb, it's going to be more. If you have a smaller thumb, you, you're going to have less. But you pour it in, that's my portion. Cool. You're just going to say, I did one portion of oil at that point. If you're doing vegetables, put both of your fists together and the circumference of your fists, right? That's a good portion, whether we're talking broccoli, spinach, whatever. Hey, I had a portion of vegetables today. Cool. And lastly, for nuts, seeds, things like that, cup your hand. And if it fits in the pad of your thumb, all the way around to the knuckles of your hand. If you cup your hand, you know what? And if it's flat, not that it's this heaping mound and it's you know taking up your whole hand and it's the size of an orange. No, just a small amount, just the cup of your hand. There's a serving of nuts, okay? Or a serving of fats. Then we break it down a little bit. When we're talking carbohydrates, we give them a short list. We're talking sweet potatoes, rice, 100% whole wheat pasta, just a few ideas. Same with protein, same with uh, vegetables and fruits, same with dairies and fats. We just give them a little bit of a list. And then we tell them briefly what these mean. We say that protein helps us build muscle, helps us repair our tissue. That's all we describe protein as. We don't go into the 22 amino acids and blah, 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 blah. Same with carbohydrates. We consider this your fuel. This is your energy source. So the more we take away your carbs, the less energy you're going to have. So that's not really what we're trying to do. We want to make sure we have a, a, a decent amount. Then when it comes to vegetables and fruits, again, your vegetables are going to have all of your vitamins. Your fruits are going to have a lot of your antioxidants, a lot of your anti-cancers, and they both kind of do the same. Okay, but vegetables typically are going to have more vitamins and minerals to them. And then we go into fats. Okay, how you shouldn't try to live without dietary fats because every part of your body is made up of those fats. It helps regulate your metabolism. There's so many things. And again, we give them just a couple of examples. Then we, we describe that, hey, for women, typically having these portions, you know, three protein, three and a half fats and down the list, having this amount, it's about 1500 calories. And you know what? A lot of women, that's a, an okay starting point. 15, 1600 calories. Hey, let's start there. Let's see what happens. Now, if you're a really, if the person you're talking to is a really large person, I'm talking maybe as a woman, they're 250 or more. You might want to guide them towards a few more calories than just 1500. Maybe you would say, Hey, you probably want to do closer to this 2000, even though we recommend for an average adult male, that 2000 calories or the portions that we provide is a good starting point. Again, if they're a really large person, don't try to starve them. We want it to be just a little less than they're currently eating and a little less and a little less. Then we can talk more of the nitty gritty once they see some results. Cause again, we don't want to scare them. It's their first day and you're just trying to help them take their first steps. But again, all of those portions are provided, but you don't have to go by portions. You can just say, Hey, I've written down. This is kind of what I eat in a day. I'm just going to eliminate this one thing and see what happens. Okay. I'm going to eat my potato chips, my Oreos, but instead of having my potato chips, Oreos, and ice cream every day, I'm going to take away the ice cream and just see how I feel. Cool. That can be a great way to start. Then in the next page, we give them again, a grocery list. Here are some of the fats we recommend you buy. Here are some of the proteins. Then, and you guys have seen it for our June newsletter. It's right off of our June newsletter. It's here's your shopping list. Put, put your proteins in your protein column, your veggies in your veggie column. And then let's just plan one week out. Let's just see what a good one week would look like. This isn't their, you have to do this type plan. No, it's look at this. Hey, on a, a good week, here's some of the meals that you've already thought of here using the foods that you want. I don't want to say you have to eat these foods. No, let's figure out the foods you like. And hey, let's have you design a couple meals so that when you're kind of in a pinch, you can look back at this chart. Oh, that's right. This meal was really good. I'm going to make that. 
Boom. This isn't uh, for the rest of your life. Every Monday, you're going to eat blah. No, we're just trying to come up with a few ideas. Then it talks about exercise. Okay. All it takes is moving a little more than you are now. So if we eat a little less than you're eating now and move just a little more, we're not talking go to the gym. We're not necessarily talking go get a gym membership, which can be very powerful. You get into a group class or you get with a personal trainer, they can help continue to motivate you. But some people on their first day, they're just like, I don't want to spend X, I don't want to spend any real money. I just want to do something. So we talk about moving more. If an athlete, so going back to the first chart, if you burn an extra 250 calories every day, you're going to lose a half a pound a week. Okay. If you just are 250 less. So if we eat a little bit less, okay, and we move a little bit more, we can set you up already to lose a pound a week. Because if you eat, let's say 250 calories less a day than you currently are and move a little bit more, we might have a 500 calorie deficit without even trying. That can help you, that person lose the first 10 pounds and then we can go into the next steps. Again, we want this to be as calm and not scary. And again, you might say, hey, watch this video. This guy talks about it for 10, 15 minutes, just trying to make sure that you don't become overwhelmed. So here's a cool fact. A 10 minute walk, walking 10 minutes, okay? That can be an extra thousand steps, okay? If you're a brisk walker, okay? Maybe it's only 500 steps, but let's say you do two walks a day, three walks a day. Let's say you can get up to 2,000 extra steps a day, just 2,000, okay? The FDA recommends 10,000. That's really not that a whole lot of stepping, but hey, let's say we add 2,000 to whatever you're doing. If you're currently only walking 4,000 steps, let's bump it to 6,000. If you're doing that, that's already gonna burn over 100 extra calories. And all you're doing is just going on a little bit of a walk, not to mention some of the workouts you can do at home. Now in July, you can do this walk with them. You can show them, hey, let's go on a 20 minute walk. It's not that big of a deal. You can have a conversation. Maybe you can bring up, hey, if you have a phone with a good data plan, you can download something called audible.com where you can have a book read to you. Maybe you can stream YouTube from your phone without it costing you a million dollars. Hey, what better way to motivate that person that, hey, here's five videos I recommend. And again, we have this new playlist that says start here. So again, we're going to be putting a bunch of videos in there where it's, you know, less than 10 minutes, but when they're on their walk, they can listen to a few things and get some help as they go. That way they don't feel alone. And then we do actually go into a super simple, if you go to a gym, here's what we recommend for your first few weeks. Now, all of you, okay, even though you might have never done a leg press, trust me, you go up to the leg press, you put it on no weight, and you just see what the machine does, you're going to instantly know, oh, this is what I do with my legs, this is what I do with my arms, whatever, you're instantly going to know. You don't need a whole crash course on how to do it, okay? So, if you recommend that they go to a gym, go with them their first day, okay? Let's say they go to a Snap Fitness, and for you it costs five bucks to go with them. Fine. It's a few exercises. It's all machine-based. They're not touching a dumbbell yet. They're not touching a kettlebell, a bar, nothing. Because again, yes, absolutely. I want them off the machines at some point. But man, a machine can be a great starting point. Just move your body a little bit more. We're doing sets of 10. Okay, 10 is a really easy number. It's a good number. It's an easy number to remember. And we have it set up with the exercises. You're going to do 10. You can do 10 three times on the one exercise, then move on. If the, let's say you're at a Snap Fitness and nobody's there, you can go through these exercises like a circuit, okay? But maybe you only want to do two rounds of it because your heart rate's going to be up. You don't have to do all of these exercises on the same day by any means, okay? If you do, great, you're going to be sore. But if not, maybe you say, I'm going to do the first four exercises, then I'll do the next four exercises, then just keep whatever, okay? 10 at a time. And we have it set up where you just write down the weight. Okay, let's say you're doing leg press at 50 pounds, whatever. You put 50 pounds under leg press. I did it 10 times, I put it right there. Then we also have it set up where as you get a little more comfortable, 
you can start designing your own, okay? You can use the same exercises. You can change up the order. You can do three sets or even five sets if you like. Maybe you really like the leg curl machine because it works the backs of your legs. Okay, do four sets, do five sets, whatever. Okay, again, there's. it's not about having the perfect program for you on your first day. We can worry about that months from now. A super easy, basic program of move a little more, eat a little less, set a goal, that can be enough for you to lose your first 15 pounds. So again, use this information, athletes, to help your friends, your family members, because it is. We need to make it as easy and basic as possible. And, you know, I haven't gone over any groundbreaking ideas. It's eat a little less, move a little more, and set a goal. And I know you can do that, and I know anybody can start there. We'll